So, prayed over the cards, shuffled prepared. We're going to be pulling some from Doreen Virtue's Power Tarot Archangel deck and Archangel Michael. And two of his cards fell out together. We're also going to be getting two from the Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. So, if you notice anyone else's readings this month, don't have your feelings hurt because everyone else got some Doreen Virtue Romance Angel cards. But the angels told me that they did not want you guys to have any cards from that. They wanted you to have two from the Whispers of Love deck after the two fell out from Archangel Michael. So, let me see if those... Wow. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. You guys should be happy you got them from just one dex because this is a remarkable reading. Okay, so love has taken over your reading this month. The general piece is not there. This is this is uh it's all about love this month. Okay, so we are going to go ahead. Let me give you so you can see this first card here which is nine of Raphael and the bottom of it says make a wish dreams become reality a joyful time of life and you can see the genies making a wish on an island an exotic island so this is a time of your dreams coming true so they're saying a lot of you you've already you've already made your wish um, you've already, you know, been praying and, and putting out your, your hopes and dreams and, and you've been trying to manifest those things into a reality. So they're encouraging you to let your worries go, let them fade away, because right now is a magical time for you in your life. And they are ushering in your dreams. They, they are. And a lot of you have those signs. You, you can tell it's happening. But you're frustrated with how it's happening because I get for a lot of you, it's just, it's really taking a lot of time. It's really dragging on. But, but it, they, your dreams are coming true. So they encourage you to have faith in that, know that, trust that. A lot of you have been getting a lot of intuitive stuff and you know that it's, it is happening now. So they're asking that you have faith. Next card is 10 of Raphael. And on the bottom it says, love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. And if you can see, there's a couple having a picnic, they're in an embrace, there's a couple in the bag, you've got a rainbow, all of your dreams are coming true. Okay, so what we're gonna do for, we're, we're gonna hit just quick basics on each of these cards, and I'm gonna tie them together because a lot of these cards are all tied together with different messages for different people, depending upon what your situation is. So. We're not gonna do the typical go into tons of detail on each card because it's not applicable to many of you because they, these are really interweaving, they're, they're playing together this month. So, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna go touch on all of them and then we're gonna give you how they all play together and, and what, what the messages are, what, what they're really trying to tell a number of you because there's some different situations some of you guys are going through. Some of you guys have uh, a divine relationship, soulmate, twin flame, some of you have a love triangle. Um, yeah, a couple different messages playing out. So they're congratulating. You've worked very hard. You've laid your foundation. You've put out what you what you want. Again, the same thing. Your, your dreams are coming true. This is the end of a stressful time. For some of you, there's still going to be a little bit of stress, still a couple bumps in the road, but, but you are at the end of that. Um, and they're reassuring you that things are coming true, those, those things that you desire. For some of you, those, those are coming within reach in June and July. Now, for some of you, you're still going to have a little bit of work to do, but for some of you, it's actually happening in June, beginning in June. Some of you, no later than July, they're saying. That's remarkable. And it's especially remarkable because it is, this is a divine relationship. It's a divine union. It's a soulmate connection. It's a twin flame connection. You have the eternal love card from Archangel Michael's deck. And if you can read the prayer on the bottom, it says, help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. And it's confirmation for you because I get a number of you, you've just been, you've been worried about this relationship with someone. You know, you go back and forth. It's not working out. It seems to be taking forever. Archangel Michael's trying to reassure you that, that all is well that you know you and that person your entire situation is being watched over 
it is a it's a divinely ordained relationship it's watched over by the heavens there is no way that it's going to fail and for some of you you've even been questioning you know am i crazy is this in my head you know because you know i don't really hear from him or i don't really hear from her and you know i thought that this was some divine love a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection but it just doesn't seem to be happening and i don't know how much longer of this i can take but but this is assuring you that what you've been thinking that it is that divine relationship that soulmate that uh, twin flame relationship it is it is and they're congratulating you on all the work you've been putting in and for some of you it is going to be coming to fruition you will be coming into union in june and this is where we're going to start tying it in so let's go ahead this card's pretty much saying the same thing i don't want to hit that card yet that'll throw everybody for a loop so this is again confirmation this is a divine union a divine relationship if you can read the bottom of it it says spiritual connection this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime so you felt that instant connection you felt drawn to that person you felt like they like you've always known them because you have this isn't this isn't your first go around um it is a meant to be relationship it is a soulmate relationship but with that comes a lot of stuff that has to be done and work that has to be done um so with 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 divine relationships, divine partnerships, you know, it's divine timing is a huge thing. There's so many parts and pieces that have to fall into place. So a lot of you, you've been really frustrated because it's taking so long and all these, you know, you've had a lot of bumps in the road. And they're just reminding you everything happens for a reason. There's divine timing at play with this. And they are confirming it is a spiritual connection, spiritual relationship. And you are nearing the end of it some of you you are in a a love triangle situation it is you've got this person that you you feel is your soulmate you some of you you feel that that's your twin flame you have been back and forth with them and but you're just you're just not sure so you're holding on to this other person that you've had a relationship with or maybe just friends with benefits but you've been holding on to them and um not letting them go because this isn't working out because this up to this time just seems to bring you a lot of heartache and pain and headaches and a lot of work and so you just hold on to this other person but what that other person do is doing a lot of you already know that you've been getting a lot of intuitive guidance is that person's really blocking you from coming into union with that person you're meant to be with that that soulmate spiritual connection um that divine love that divine partner that you're meant to be with um and this car if you can read the bottom of it, it says you know consider your foundation you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love foundation is the key element because the message for you guys isn't the typical message with this card um it kind of, it's kind of woven in there because you know with love we we move forward with complete faith complete trust um we don't see exactly how things are going to happen we don't know exactly how it's going to work out but we move forward with blind trust and faith that it's going to work out because we are committed to it working out and and love and its foundation it, it is an act of faith an act of moving forward and, and trusting and this in this deck of cards there are 50 cards and this is the 50th card and this is signifying an ending in order for a new beginning so for those of you that are in this love triangle it is time for you to make a decision and if you can read the bottom of the card it says there's a prayer and it says Archangel Michael please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach the situation remind me to detach and step back allowing the situation to naturally unfold thank you for protecting me so for those of you that are stuck in a love triangle this is the month for you to make a decision now for some of you you've been in this you know divine relationship you know back and forth game of ping pong forever 
this is the month that your beloved is going to be making the decision. So it's not you that's been in the love triangle, but it's him or her. So, you know, you've been going back and forth. You feel like they're the one. You've been doing all this work, a lot of healing. Archangel Raphael, he's the angel of love. He's the angel of healing. We've got healing insignia here. I don't know if you guys can see it that far away. I'll pull it up not too close but you've been you've been putting in the work and they're congratulating you on putting in the work you've been doing a lot of healing work you've been focusing on you you've been focused on moving forward in your mission um, you have felt that okay this person this is a divine meant to be love this is what storybooks are made out of I I feel so strongly connected to this person it's meant to be but they just keep going back to their ex <laughs> they keep going back to their partner with benefits and it just doesn't keep, it just, it's very confusing and frustrating and heartbreaking, but you've stayed the course. You, you've focused on your healing. You've continued to send that person unconditional love because you know that this is divine connection. And, and you've just focused, like when you look at this, you see this winding path. You've stayed on the path. You've stayed on the course. You've stayed focused on your mission, which is ultimately focused on a happy union. This is the month that your partner is going to make the decision. They are going to make a decision in this love triangle situation. And uh, they're going to take that leap of blind faith. Because they, they feel the same connection to you. They don't express it. But they do feel the same connection. So this is a month where decisions are being made to move forward. And, and I get for those of you in this situation, the decision will be made this month now. Whether or not you begin to move forward this month, it may be July. So maybe, you know, he or she will make the decision this month. You'll move forward in July. Now, for some of you, they're saying that the end is in sight. You're happily ever after your dreams coming true, but you need to first focus on your healing. Um, they're saying the last piece is... They're saying as hard as it can be, they're encouraging you to take the focus off of the relationship. Because I, I'm getting for a number of you, you, you know, you've met this person. You know that they're a divine connection. You know that they're your soulmate. You know that they're your other half. You're meant to be. But you are spending all of your time focusing on them. You know, when is he going to call me? When is she going to come see me? When am I going to hear from her? You know, what do I have to do to get, you know, him or her to come back? The, they're encouraging you because they're going to come back. It's a guaranteed thing, but they're not going to come back if you're just focused on them because that's not what this divine relationship's about. They'll come back when you're healed and ready for them. So they're encouraging you to, to shift your focus, shift your perspective because they're, they're trying to help your dreams come true. And you are still, even for, they're saying for all, most all of you, you're near the end of it. But there's just still some final healing that has to be done. Like if you notice, you've got the, the medical insignia sign there. Um, the, the end of your rainbow is in sight. Your treasure is in sight. You just need to, in June, focus on your final healing that has to be done. And for some of you, you've gotten to the point that you can do that on your own with some prayer and uh, getting some help from above. Some of you will need to get a healer, but they are encouraging you to shift your perspective, focus on your healing this month in June, so that uh, you can put that final piece of the puzzle in place and you can then move forward with this person that you are meant to be with. So, and I do get the healings. It, it's not going to take long. I, it, I get it for a number of you. It'll, it could be finished in June. They are again reminding it is a matter of divine timing. All these other parts and pieces have to fall in place. But for those of you that it, it's a healing thing, they are encouraging you because that, that piece that needs to fall into place right now to move forward is, is you getting your healing done.